9-11 hero, Oreo Palmer. September 11th, 2001. The United States suffered the worst possible terror attacks. The Twin Towers, once a symbol of New York's might, crumbled. In the heart of chaos, a resolute voice emerged from the radio waves above the smoke and ash. It belonged to a brave firefighter, Oreo Palmer. His story is truly heroic. The man who went beyond the call of duty, scaling the heights of the Twin Towers to save lives. He was not only a first responder, but a last hope, climbing 40 floors in less than 30 minutes. Let's explore the story of a man who sacrificed his life for humanity. Oreo Palmer was not an ordinary firefighter. He was larger than life. Born on March 2, 1956 in the Bronx, New York City, Palmer was known for his exceptional physical fitness. A 45-year-old battalion chief for the FDNY, he was a marathon runner, a loving husband, and a father of three. Palmer was admired for his leadership, loved for his warmth, and respected for his service. But on September 11, 2001, he became a hero in the eyes of an entire nation. On that fateful day, the sky was clear and the air was crisp. Oreo had just finished his morning run and was preparing for another day of service. It was 8.46 a.m. News broke that a plane had crashed into the north tower of the World Trade Center complex. There were heaps of smoke rising and panic everywhere. While most ran away from the burning towers, Oreo and his team advanced towards them. Palmer was no stranger to emergencies with 20 years of service, but this time he knew that the situation was worse. While many fled the burning skyscraper, Palmer, equipped with 60 pounds of gear, entered the building. Every floor presented a new challenge, debris, smoke, and terrified civilians. But Palmer pressed on, his radio transmissions painting a vivid picture of his journey. Oreo and his team reached the 40th floor of the South Tower in less than 30 minutes, a feat that would be remarkable even under normal circumstances. He entered the tower and single-handedly fixed an elevator to reach the 41st floor. Here they found 700 people disoriented and terrified. Oreo didn't just direct them towards safety, he gave them hope. His strong and reassuring voice became a lifeline in a sea of despair. He was among the first to reach the impact zone in the South Tower, leading a team of firefighters to the 78th floor, right where the plane had struck. We've got two isolated pockets of fire, he reported. His voice was filled with relentless courage and high spirit to save as many lives as possible. Palmer reported, numerous 1045s, code 1s, a fire department code for casualties. These recordings played a crucial role in understanding the events of that day and the challenges faced by first responders. There were low chances of life for those trapped above the impact zone. Palmer was standing firm there, being their only hope. This brave man didn't just fight fires, he offered comfort, guiding survivors and coordinating rescues. He was there amidst the smoke and fear, offering a helping hand and a way out. Palmer's actions exemplified not just a firefighter, but a human being. As the clock ticked, Palmer reached a critical evacuation junction, the 78th floor sky lobby. There was massive destruction there. He was heard communicating to the team following him. The walls are breached, so be careful. The once bustling hub where elevators carried people to the highest floors was now a landscape of twisted metal, shattered glass, and smoldering debris. Palmer's radio crackled to life, his voice cutting through the thick, acrid air. Ladder 15 to Battalion 7, he began, detailing the dire conditions and the need for quick help. Fires raged, fed by jet fuel, and the air was thick with smoke, making every breath a struggle. Even in the face of such horror, Palmer was standing firm. He and his fellow firefighters worked tirelessly, extinguishing fires and aiding the injured. His radio transmissions painted a vivid picture of the challenges they faced. He called for additional hoses, manpower, and medical assistance, always thinking of others before himself. 
But time was running out. The structural integrity of the tower was compromised, and the ominous groans of shifting steel echoed through the corridors. Palmer coordinated efforts, ensuring the maximum number of people could be evacuated. Then at 9.59 a.m., a roar filled the air. The South Tower, weakened by the intense fires and structural damage, began its tragic descent. Besides, there was never a hint that the clock was running out on them. They had no warning that the tower was about to collapse on top of them. In mere seconds, the tower crumbled, taking countless souls down with it, including Palmer. Almost 1,000 civilians and first responders died in this collapse. His remains were never identified. This hero stood his ground, fought, and saved, despite all odds. Do you know? The Battalion Chief Oreo J. Palmer Award is an annual award given to firefighters with exceptional fitness skills, honoring Palmer's commitment to physical excellence. Isn't that a landmark? Oreo Palmer lived an exemplary life. Share his story, honor his memory, and ensure that the sacrifices made by him and many others are never forgotten. Hit the bell button to get notified about more stories. How was this brave firefighter honored? Keep watching as we're going to reveal it. Oreo Palmer perished that day, but his legacy lives on. His actions saved countless lives, and his courage became a beacon of hope in one of America's darkest hours. The brave man climbed higher than any other firefighter that day, reaching floors that were considered unreachable. His radio transmissions provided invaluable insights into the conditions inside the tower, aiding subsequent investigations. With over two decades of service with the FDNY, Palmer had faced countless emergencies, each time putting the safety of others above his own. His service is a tale of heroism and a lesson in leadership and service, inspiring countless firefighters and first responders worldwide. The FDNY posthumously promoted him to Deputy Chief, and his name is etched in national memorials. Many streets and firehouses were named after him as a tribute to brave Palmer. At Ground Zero, Palmer's name is etched alongside his fallen brethren, ensuring his sacrifice will never be forgotten. The Oreo Palmer at Athletic Field in Valley Stream reminds us of Palmer's love for sports and his belief in community engagement. Jim Dwyer, a New York City journalist, paid tribute to Palmer and said, If history is going to be a tool for the living, if memory is going to be something we can rely on, then you can't blink or turn away. You have to say this is what happened and how it happened. Heroes don't always wear capes. Sometimes they wear uniforms bearing the weight of their duty. Today we celebrate a life lived with purpose, a spirit that refused to be daunted, and a legacy that continues to inspire. Palmer's actions illuminate the path for all, reminding us of the strength in adversity. His heroism, spirit, courage, and dedication live on and will keep inspiring future generations. We will keep you posted with the latest disaster updates and news. Just hit this channel's like and subscribe buttons at your place. Keep us posted in comments if you're up to following our upcoming story. We would love to hear from you. Until next time.